Let's, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Let's look then at these uh, early rules and see how they affected the Israelites and how, in fact, they can affect us as well. You shall have no other gods before me. This is an important one. Let's read on just a bit. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I am the Lord your God. I'm a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. What is this really all about? We as human beings, we have an instinctive feeling that there is something more than the material universe around us. From the very earliest times, man has been aware that there is a spiritual realm which is outside of our material experience. And as we become aware of it, and as we come to wonder about it, we almost want to make up an image of it that we can worship. So we see the world around us, and we tend to think, well, if I can make an image that somehow represents the spiritual realm, then I can come before it, and I can worship it, and I can honor it, and somehow break through into that spiritual realm. Now, this can be quite dangerous, because the image we set up are the images we know something about, the images of animals and plants and birds and anything else. So we actually take a piece of wood and we carve out of it, as the prophets are going to say, almost in ridicule. We can cut it in half, we can burn half it on our fire, and then we can carve an image out of the other half and set it up and then pretend that this somehow is our God and we can worship it. The idea behind it, you see, is that we are trying to break into the spiritual realm. And God says, no, the way to, into the spiritual realm, the way into my presence, are the ways that I am going to show you. Don't get involved by trying to do it, by worshipping things in the world. Don't set these things up, because if you do, they will contaminate you, and they will destroy your relationship with me. See, Jesus himself later on was going to say to the people, no one, no one comes to the Father except through me. No one. If you want to come to the Father, if you want to know what God is like, you have to come to me. I am the one that God has sent into the world. I am the one who will pay the penalty for sin. I am the one who will die on the cross. I am the one who will rise from the dead. I am the one who will ascend back into heaven. I am the one who will offer you eternal life. I am the one and the gate of the sheep. I am the one with the door for you to come through. This is the way back to the Father. But so many people think, no, no, I don't want to take that particular route. I want to set up my own God. I want to take this piece of wood and carve it into an image of an animal. And I want to worship that. I want to think that this is the way back. This is the doorway. This is what I want. Now, we may, as civilized Europeans, uh, think, uh, oh, yes, this is just a primitive man acting in a primitive way. But we set up our gods as well. And we worship our gods. We worship the, the material world around us. We think, if only I could have this, and if only I could have that. If only I could spend my time worshipping this or worshipping that. Perhaps the spiritual force behind that will release great abundance into my life. We can worship 
the very houses in which we live. We can worship the cars which we drive. We can worship the possessions which we use. We can even worship the very world we're living in. We can become almost pantheistic and worship even that. But in the end, that which we should be spending our time on trying to reach God is God himself. The God who says to the people of Israel, I am the God who brought you out of Egypt. And the God that we have to worship is the God who says to us, I am the God who loves you so much that I want to give you eternal life and sent my son Jesus to die for you. I am the God you should worship. None of these other things will ever count. You know, the world in which we are living will one day be destroyed. Everything we own will one day be set aside. There is nothing we have which is of any lasting value. God is God. He is the only one with whom we can trust. So he says to us, do not worship anything else but me. Amen.